Hello guys, what's up? This is Thomas Bona and Silver Yano. So Thomas, what are we gonna do today? Oh, I'm glad you ask. Uh, we are gonna talk to you about a new kind of technology for weather called AESA. Okay. And to start things off, we are gonna explain the basic concept of AESA. Let's go then. Yeah. Radar systems generally work by connecting an antenna to a powerful radio transmitter to emit a short pulse of signal. The transmitter is then disconnected and the antenna is connected to a sensitive receiver which amplifies any echoes from target objects. By measuring the time it takes for the signal to return, the radar receiver can determine the distance to the object. The receiver then sends the resulting output to a display of some sort. To scan a portion of the sky, radar antenna must be physically moved to point in different directions. And there you have the main issue with mechanical antennas the scan speed. Starting in the 1960s, new solid state devices capable of dealing the transmitter signal in a controlled way were introduced. Engineers came up with the first practical large scale passive electronically scanned array, PSA or simply phased array radar. PSAs took a signal from a single source, split it into hundreds of paths, selectively delayed some of them, and sent them to individual antennas. The radio signals from the separate antennas overlapped in space, and the interference patterns between the individual signals was controlled to reinforce the signal in certain directions and mute it in all others. The delays could be easily controlled electronically, allowing the beam to be steered very quickly without moving the antenna. A PSA can scan a volume of space much quicker than a traditional mechanical system. Still, PSAs had a very limited number of targets they could track or guide. The AESA, or AC, is a more advanced, sophisticated, second generation of the original PESA phased array technology. It stands for Active Electronically Scanned Array. Its development has been made possible thanks to the reduction in size of receiver and transmitter elements. Each antenna element is connected to a small solid state transmit receive module or TRM under the control of a computer which performs the functions of either a transmitter or a receiver for the antenna. This contrasts with a PESA, in which all the antenna elements are connected to a single TRM. And there you have it, a device that can radiate multiple beams of radio waves at multiple frequencies simultaneously, in different directions, without even moving the antenna. AESA radars are widespread on jet fighters and military ships. Fifth generation fighters like the F-22 and F-35 are equipped with AESA radar systems. Thales developed its own systems for vessels and fighters like the Rafale with the RBE-2 radar. Advantages of an AESA over a PCA are multiple. The primary one is capability of the different modules to operate on different frequencies. Unlike the PSA, where the signal is generated at single frequencies by a small number of transmitters, in the AESA, each module generates and radiates its own independent signal. This allows the AESA to produce numerous simultaneous sub-beams that it can recognize due to different frequencies and actively track a much larger number of targets. Moreover, AESA radars can spread their signal emissions across a wider range of frequencies, which make them more difficult to detect over background noise, allowing ships and aircrafts to radiate powerful radar signals while still remaining stealthy. And last but not least, AESA is obviously more fault tolerant than other systems. The main current limitation to such system is the field of view, FOV. 
It is currently limited to 120 degrees for a flat phase array antenna. However, associations with mechanical steering can help increase this FOV. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to leave a comment below the video and subscribe to our channel. And yes, yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.